German architect Balthazar Neumann was born on January in 1687 in Erlu, Bohemia. The son of a clockmaker in Bohemia, he was originally trained as a cannon and bell founder, but in 1711 he arrived in Würzburg where his talent was recognized and he soon received training in civil and military architecture and continued working in foundries. Würzburg was the seat of a sovereign ecclesiastical territory of the Holy Roman Empire and had a well-known foundry where Newman hoped to find work. In 1714, Newman received a military commission as an artilleryman for the bodyguard of the Bishop of Würzburg. He worked as a hydraulic specialist in 1716, then became chief of the Würzburg Corps of Engineers. In 1714, he enlisted in the Palace Guards at Würzburg as a lieutenant of artillery. He served in the Imperial forces in the Belgrade campaign of 1717 as a military engineer. Balthazar Newman is noted as one of the masters of the late German Baroque and Rococo architecture style periods. The Baroque architectural style originated in late 16th century Italy and lasted in some regions, notably Germany and colonial South America until the 18th century. Its characteristics included complex architectural plan shapes, often based on the oval, and the dynamic opposition and interpenetration of spaces were favored to heighten the feeling of motion and sensuality. Other characteristic qualities included grandeur, drama and contrast, especially in lighting, curvaceousness, and an often dizzying array of rich surface treatments, twisting elements, and gilded statuary. Architects also apply bright colors and vividly painting ceilings. The Rococo style originated in Paris in the early 18th century, but was soon adopted throughout France and later in other countries, mainly Germany and Austria. It is characterized by lightness, elegance, and an exuberant use of curving and natural forms and ornamentation. In 1720, Balthazar Newman and Johann Ditzenhofer were appointed by the Prince Bishop Philip Franz von Schonborn to be joint surveyors of a grand new palace that was being planned. During his era, he worked for the powerful Sherborne family, who were key figures at imperial court and rulers of several important principalities in the Holy Roman Empire. The Sherborne family were patrons for Newman and provided him with most of his major architectural commissions. For the family, he created buildings such as the Würzburg Residence, the Church of the Fourteen Saints, the Hofekapel on the residence grounds, and the Bruchel Palace built for Cardinal Sherborne or Spire. The residence in Würzburg became the crowning glory of Newman's career and a demonstration of his architectural fantasy. His control over the planning of the palace was not absolute at first, because the Prince Bishop sought advice about it everywhere. For advice, he looked to relatives, other German architects like Maximilian von Welsh and Johann Lucas von Hildebrandt, and even from French architects Robert de Côté and Gabriel Germain Beaufrand. Newman eventually won over the confidence of his patron and served as the stabilizing influence and coordinator of all their suggestions and alterations. He added his own ideas as well to the general scheme. The residence was an extensive complex of courts surrounding a general block with a large octagonal dome over the main hall. In the great stairwell, which Newman began in 1737, he revealed his special talent, the manipulation of dynamic space. In the space, the ceiling is unsupported by arcades or columns. The visitors only gradually become aware of the size of the stairwell hall and the vastness and complexity of the fresco decoration executed by Giovanni Battista Tiepolo. However, Newman had his greatest success with church architecture, such as the Church of the Fourteen Saints, built between 1743 and 1772. The altar of the church was to be built under the dome, but due to mistakes in construction, it was placed in the center of the largest of a series of ovals, which gave the same impression. The design ended up being a compromise between a central plan and a longitudinal nave church. The perfection of this form of church can be seen at Nerosheim, Newman's last great church. Here, the longitudinal oval combines with the ovals of the transept and the nave, creating a vast space over which the dome appears to float. Throughout his life, Newman remained an officer in the bishop's military and continued to concern himself with problems in military engineering. He also developed a freshwater supply for the city of Würzburg in 1730, built a glass factory and a mirror factory in 1733, and taught military and civil engineering at the University of Würzburg. He died a colonel in Würzburg on July 18, 1753.